Guys, welcome to another video. In this one, I have something pretty interesting for you, especially if you're into motorcycles or dirt bikes at all. I just went on a dirt biking trip where I had to rent a U-Haul trailer, and the experience was so poor that I never wanted to do anything like that with U-Haul again. So what I ended up doing is researching my options, and the Moto Jack Rack is what I came up with. The Moto Jack Rack is kind of a bike rack, but for your motorcycle. You lower it below your hitch, put your bike on, secure the foot pegs, and you just jack up your motorcycle onto your rear window of your car. And that's how you drive it. And you take it to your location, you let the jack down, and it then your bike goes on the ground. I can't tell you how much easier this looks than getting a U-Haul trailer, securing the bike to it. The whole process took so long, I had to get in on this Moto Jack Rack. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to assemble the Moto Jack Rack and also do a little review of its functionality, quality, and ease of use, and everything like that. Stay tuned, we're gonna get right into it. So here are some specs on the one that I got. I ended up going with the heavy duty version just because I like to take my cars off road as you guys know and I wanna make sure that the bike is supported. So the heavy duty version can carry up to 450 pounds. That's over 100 pounds more than my bike weighs. You have thicker wall tubing, half inch plate steel arms uh, versus the 3 8 inch version which is a normal one. And it's all beefed up, it's ready to go. Uh, it's 65 pounds. Uh, thicker because of the thicker material all around and it has stainless steel hooks and everything like that you can see everything right here two inch wide arms versus the one and a half inch wide ones 19 inches of travel and so it lowers six inches below the trailer hitch and goes up whatever the difference that is to 19 uh, open center platform. This is actually something that may be interested in this rack over say the MX hauler Is that you have the open center section? I don't have a like a motorcycle jack I figure I could just use this one to do oil changes and stuff because of that open center Those are some of the specs on it. So let's get started putting it together all right guys, so it wasn't really working out assembling it on the floor like that. Uh, the instructions actually say that you need a hitch in order to assemble it. So I'm gonna actually use the hitch. I'm going to somewhere where I can get a nice garage to work in. So let's continue with the install. All right guys, I got it in the hitch, at least this part. So next thing I'm gonna do is make sure that I line these up in the correct orientation. These guys, and these threads go outward and they work with the jack to kind of push down on these arms. You'll see when we get there. Let me just get into this a little bit. Here's the jack and the rest of the components. All right, and we get two nuts on the outside here. This is our jack perch. This is gonna come up like that. One sec. And it's gonna lift the bike up. Okay guys, so it should look something like this. And then, you know, kind of goes up and down. And this should be able to rotate independently. Washers do go on the outside of just this piece, just not on the four inch bolts. So let me get into the next position, which is to, without, damaging anything. So to line these guys up with here and to put the safety bolt right here through. So you'll see here that I'm just installing the two ton bottle jack. So first you have this bracket that holds it in place. That's pretty easy and straightforward. Everything goes in just as uh, you would think. So I take the safety bolt out and then I'm getting ready to put the perch that the motorcycle sits on in. And this is a nice tag, bro. Anyways, <laughs> this is an important note. The washers only go in between the metal pieces. They don't go on the outside of the plates here on the heavy duty versions only. The instructions say this several times, but I've still seen other people make videos where they actually go to the hardware store and put washers on the inside and outside. That's totally not necessary. Just put washers 
between the metal pieces, not on the outside. So here are the upper arms and they just connect as you would think to the upper end. And it was a little tough to get a washer in on the other side, but after doing some work, it all went together very smoothly. One thing I wish the instructions stated is kind of how tight to get these things. I had a little trouble figuring that out and uh, ended up scraping off a little paint because of it, but just minor things like that. No real issues otherwise. All right guys, here is what it looks like. And as you can see, pretty strong. I mean, I'm not the, not quite as heavy as my bike, but it feels sturdy. And basically the way you secure your bike is you get it up on here and secure your foot pegs with these guys. And you can tighten it down with these guys on the side. So here goes nothing. I'm gonna try to put my bike on this thing. Just want you guys to see how it looks in some better lighting. Let me know if you think I should uh, run this level of reverse rake all the time. It looks awesome. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> but it looks pretty cool while towing. And that's how it sits, guys. The HD Moto Jack Rack. Let me just make sure that locking bolt is tight. This guy right here just. Uh, Tighten this guy down. Yeah, that seems good. All right, let's give it a go. Right here, I'm just kind of testing out how things work. I wanna make a very important note here. Make sure that you follow the instruction to put the ratchet strap around the front handlebars to secure the front of the bike. Those foot peg holders are only good for keeping the bike from rotating forward. I had a little incident on Pacific Coast Highway where I made a U-turn and the bike fell backwards so it was scraping the rear tire on the ground. So I just don't want that to happen to anybody else. Make sure you use the ratchet strap. How sweaty I am, but you can kind of see the bike out the back. And our test course today is just around this neighborhood where we have a whole lot of speed bumps. So let's see if it, uh, if it survives. I'm not gonna hit it crazy hard or anything, but ooh, man, that would, that's a lot of force back there. Okay, seems to be doing good. Right, she's dead hooked down there, boys. Nothing in the way of uh, any sort of issues that I can see. And I've been wanting to, you know, use this hitch more, which uh, I'll definitely be doing in the future. Okay, so it does wobble back and forth a little bit, but the bike is hooked up. So let's try to hit this one more straight on. Cool, looks like it's working, guys. All right guys, that's all for the install. I cannot wait to get this thing on a trip just to see how much time it saves me. The worst part about having to rent a U-Haul trailer is getting back to the U-Haul place when it's late at night and you have to check in on the website and the website doesn't work properly for you. Uh, it's just a nightmare. You just wanna go home at that point. So anyways, super looking forward to getting out on my bike more because I just don't like riding on the street. Uh, even though it's a dual sport, I don't like riding on the street. I wanna get out in the dirt more. The only issue I had was my bad not reading the instructions and not really understanding how to put the ratchet strap on. So I reached out to customer support and they were very responsive. So thanks a lot, Andy, for your responsive emails. Other than that, the instructions could have been a little more clear on how tight to make those bolts. I don't think I would have taken off a little bit of paint uh, if they were a little more clear. That's pretty much the only issue I had with this whole process. So again, guys, highly recommend this if you got a dirt bike or dual sport or something like that. I think it's gonna be 
really easy when I get out on the dirt. That's it for this video. I'm gonna have another exciting part coming in this weekend as well. So stay tuned for the next video. See you guys later.